Hi, welcome back to Reading with Money. I'm Money, and today I'm doing the birthday anniversary tag or booktube birthday tag. I'm not sure because, um, long story short, I saw Katie from Books and Things doing this video last year, and I thought of doing it last year, but then I just didn't. Anyway, in her video, she mentioned how she has combined two different tags, and I think I'm going to follow her questions there. So yes, I'll be looking over here to answer those. Uh, I'll leave her video down below as well as any other original creators I can find for this tag. Did I just put on makeup and get dressed on a random Friday winter night just for this video? Yes, I did. But yes. Anyway, let's get to the questions, shall we? First of all is how many years on booktube are you celebrating? This is my second year. I started this channel in July. 2021 after my best friend told me repeatedly that i should and i did question number two is how have you changed from your first video to now i think i'm much more comfortable speaking also uh my first videos were in spanish because i was thinking that i would tap into the spanish speaking demographic <laughs> did not happen. I just, I am much more comfortable speaking in English than in Spanish, first of all. And second, I read in English and it was just getting very complicated to talk about, um, yeah, things in, in Spanish that I read in English. So here I am. And yeah, I do feel a lot more comfortable. I am still editing a lot of ums out of my speech, but you know, that's normal, I think. Um, question number three is, what has kept you motivated to keep making videos? Um, I don't know, actually. Um, I think, first of all, it's just because it's a lot of fun. I enjoy making the videos and uh, talking about the books I've read. I've always loved that, actually. Um, I've always loved speaking about books with people, and it's not something that I've had regularly throughout my life. Um, there have been periods where I had found people with, like, same interests or whatever, and I always enjoy when I can do that face-to-face -face and, like, with real life. Um, friends and things, uh, like my best friend or my sister or some other friends. I'm not really that concerned about channel growth or whatever, um, although it has been, you know, steadily growing, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's not my goal to like be monetized or any of that. So yes, it's just a matter of, for me, finding um, like-minded people or people I can uh, discuss books with. And yeah, that's it. And just putting out my thoughts out there, I guess. Okay, question number four. What are three of your favorite videos that you've made in the past year? Um, I don't know. I think <laughs> this is gonna be kind of controversial, but I did enjoy making the A Court of Thorns and Roses reading vlog series, uh, even though I did not enjoy those books. I had a lot of fun making the videos and discussing them with, discussing the books with my sister. So I think that was a lot of fun. I always also enjoy my TBR videos. I also love making the favorites, um, choosing my favorites of books of the year, which I do with, with my reading journal uh, book bracket. It's chaotic because I can never make up my mind on <laughs> what books are my favorites, but yeah, uh, I do enjoy making that video as well. And also I would like to say, I don't know, I'm just mentioning videos now, um, my Wonderthon vlogs uh, have been a lot of fun. So. Yes, reading blogs in general, I find that I like making, but I haven't been making any like groundbreaking videos or anything like that. It's just, yeah, thoughts. Uh, next is, what's your most popular video? My most popular video remains my 2022 uh, setup for my reading journal. I'll link it somewhere. It has an insane amount of views for like the size of my channel. <laughs> I think it has like 10,000 views or something like that. That was the last time I checked. I stopped checking after that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that video, like how it got so popular. I didn't make a video for my setup this year because I ran out of time when I was uh, about to leave for New York. So yeah, I missed out on that. Hopefully I'll be able to make a setup video for uh, 2024. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next is, what have you struggled with on booktube and how did you overcome it? I, the only thing I have struggled with this year, I would say, is consistency. Um, yeah, I don't have a posting schedule or anything like that. Maybe I should. Um, 
but yeah there were a couple of months when i was kind of slumping too like reading wise so i didn't make any videos for for that reason also also life like at the beginning of the school year this year like march things got a bit out of hand for me like i, I lost my work-life balance a little bit uh in those first couple of months like march april so yeah that was a struggle but i'm much better now i think so yeah, I'm also a little more motivated with my reading too, especially after Wonderthon. So that was great. Um, next is, have you had to deal with negative feedback or comments and how did you handle it? I have not. My channel is not that big to be in a position where I receive negative comments, I guess. Um, I did receive a comment a couple of months ago that made me laugh like so hard. It said something like, you don't get more views because you're not a white girl. And like i am <laughs> i mean i know i'm from a latin country like latin america but i am definitely white ancestry wise european like no question about it i don't know what that person was on about anyway um next is choose one moment from the last year on booktube that you would like to relive um <laughs> <laughs> the Wonderthon? Have I talked about Wonderthon? <laughs> Wonderthon was a readathon created by Lizzie from Lizzie's Literary Life. I'll leave her channel down below. And I was in a team called Rhodes, and it was led by Ruby from Ruby Red. Um, I'll also leave her channel down below, that's why I'm doing this. And it was the most enjoyable readathon I've ever participated in, and uh, it was chaotic and a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do it again next year. Um, so yes, I would love to relive that, like, as soon as possible but i know it's going to be next year hopefully next is what is the best book you've read this past year um i'm going to take this past year from like last july to this july and i'm going to talk about one i mean i could talk about many books i have a lot of favorites from this period um but i'm going to talk about a few that i haven't talked a lot about oh my god <laughs> that's so weird first one is the king of infinite space by lindsay fay um i got this copy in new york and this is set in new york and it's a hamlet modern retelling and i adore this book and nobody talks about this has anyone heard of this book apart from like me you should go read it it's it's hamlet but it's queer because of course it is because who doesn't ship hamlet and horatio like come on right and um yeah, I just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, it's just the perfect Hamlet retelling. And um, yeah, the, the way it's told in like three perspectives, because we have Leah, who is Ophelia, obviously, Horatio, still Horatio, and Ben, who is Hamlet. Um, and each perspective is very unique. And Hamlet's, in particular, Ben's, has plays a lot with like fonts and things because he is very like i would say he's neurodivergent and like has things like this for example in his um or like this so yes it's my favorite book from um uh, it's one of my favorite books from last year definitely one from like july to here um i love it so much go read this the other one i could mention is the terror because that one has been keeping me like in a chokehold since i read it in june and um yeah the terror by dan simmons i'll put a picture up here it's about the franklin expedition with supernatural elements and i'm obsessed i am still obsessed i think i mentioned in my wrap-up video that i gave it four stars because at some points i thought it was too long and then talking to my best friend she was like why did you give it four stars and i'm like you're right you're right i'm obsessed with this book it's five stars so yes also go read it be aware it's a lot of ice I don't know if the lighting changed because I just messed with my light. Anyway, um, next question. Where do you see your channel in one year's time? I don't know. I think I will still be doing the same things. Um, I don't foresee much changing, I guess. Pretty much the same. You can still expect my TBR game because I still enjoy playing it. Um, and yeah, reading vlogs, wrap-ups, any other fun ideas I have. The occasional tag, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I don't foresee much changing. And the last one, what piece of advice would you give to someone thinking of starting YouTube? Um, I don't know, because I'm not sure I am doing such a good job anyway. 
I think have fun is, uh, yeah, one of those. Um, it depends on your goals, I guess. But if you're just wanting to start booktubing, um, just read a bunch of books and then put out your thoughts to the internet. I think that the best thing I have done is participating in readathons because um, they're a lot of fun and they make for good content uh, to put out there. And also just building community just by commenting on other videos that you like, uh, reaching out to other creators, uh, letting them know what, that you liked their videos. And so they will maybe come and see yours, I guess. And that's the way that you start conversations, uh, which I think is the point for me for YouTube, I guess. So yeah, that's my perspective, I suppose. So that was the last question. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments down below what has been your favorite book from last year. Don't forget to check out the other creators I mentioned. They will also be linked down below. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to see more from me, I guess. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy reading.